Okay, here's a quick video on how to fix a scenario with ProPresenter. If you open ProPresenter and your main display is showing your confidence monitors, um, the way to fix that, it, it could be a couple of different reasons it causes it. Um, on this machine in particular, I have not troubleshooted, troubleshot um, what is causing it. Usually it's when the computer, uh, when ProPresenter is left running and uh, your display disappears from the computer system. So the projector is shut off. Uh, if it's going to a TV, the TV is shut off. <clears throat> um, and you don't have scalers in the signal path to the displays. Um, the on this machine there are scalers so essentially what that does is uh, i'll probably make another video on it but the scaler essentially stays on 24 7 so whenever the computer's on it's seeing the scalers and then the scalers pass the signal through to your display outputs so projector led wall tvs computer monitor whatever on this system that's not the case the scalers are installed and working so I'm not quite sure why yet this happens but to fix this it's very simple if you go to ProPresenter and the preferences and then it will normally be on the uh, general tab if you click over to display you'll see your systems outputs right here you literally just click one and move it over like that and you'll see the screen just turn blank because the main display is nothing and so it essentially just swapped these two displays and that's all you got to do uh, it also would be good to just double check if you're using a stage display to make sure that this is enabled sometimes that will get disabled um, if you click these around and all of a sudden it shows up on this actual like on this actual screen that just means that you moved it to the wrong output so like this one is your main computer display that you're looking at right now. This is one output, that's another output. So that's all you gotta do. Uh, and then you can check it by just going to a playlist and clicking anything, really. Uh, come on. Just click that guy. So now it's displaying there. And if we hover over our display window and click on this button where it says toggle toggle output stage display preview it'll show us that's not the best example because I have it set to display the main screen on it but you can see it changes size a little bit the layout changes uh, if I was to go to a song and fire the song that's what's outputting for our key for our lower thirds and if I hover over and hit the button you see that's our stage display so um, I can't see the stage displays from where I am in this room to perfectly double check that but so you'll want to like take a look at your stage display um, not just assume that it's working just to make sure but that's the process so it's it's fairly straightforward but it does trip some people up so there you go